Hey guys, I'm back with another new movie. In this movie, we find Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams is a rich guy, but very sick and very arrogant. He undermines or he underlooks upon his workers. The less privileged and he's always not in good terms if you reply him. But... And we'll find Ada Adobe is a young lady, a young girl who happens to have been sent away from her, her auntie's place after a claim by the husband of the auntie that she was inducing him to lay down on her. So she decided to go and stay with her friend called Velo. Velo found a job for Ada in the workplace where she was working in a bar and on that fateful day. Uh, Dobby finds himself herself in trouble with Mr. Williams, who so is very arrogant and proud of himself. Uh, and she was extended words with her, and the madam was not even good in good terms with her. She wanted to suck her, but uh, along the way, her friend Velo was able to apologize. Uh, for her so that she can stay in a job and lucky enough she was given a job she was not sacked and in the next day the mr william came back just to make sure that she frustrated the life of adobe he could always make orders and bend then cancel them and even abusing her calling her a lot of names until this fateful day adobe was very tired she had to pour out her heart about her life and she was even hurt. She cried and this is the day Mr. Williams knew that people are passing through a lot. Not everyone wants to stay in a place where you find them but rather the problem might be in another way. So Mr. Williams had to make friends or had to make things right with adobe they became friends and they became even more and more and of a friendship adobe was there for mr williams in every way until when mr williams was very sick adobe did not know that mr williams was very sick but Mr. Williams claimed that they did not, they should not, the workers or the employers, the employees, they should not tell Adobe about her situation. This hurt Adobe, and one day Adobe decided not to go home until he sees Mr. Williams. And when he saw Mr. Williams in a diversity situation, she felt very bad. Her friend Velo told her if she loves the man, she should go and be with her. She went and stayed with Mr. William and was even trying so much to make him happy. This is the first time Adobe, uh, Mr. Williams, was happy because Adobe started by shaving her, her shaving him off her uh, hair and making him look nice and very, very interesting to see you know sometimes in life people when they're facing challenges they tend even to forget taking care of themselves and some people if they are facing challenges they tend to put their hunger on the people around them they tend to frustrate others because they cannot speak out what they are passing through because they feel like it. why this less privileged is enjoying life more than me who has everything not knowing that sometimes we are not the one who decides decides on life but God decides on life Williams had he had distanced himself from his his relatives everyone until Adobe told her to told him to bring his auntie back Mr. Williams had a very wonderful time in his last breath this movie is running now on Uchena Modabo TV and it's called the uh, mm, it's called Last Breath. Last Breath, I'll put the link in the comment section, please. Oh, sorry, in the description box. So please go and watch this movie. We actually this full movie. We should learn to, to respect people despite their life situation or despite how you have seen them.
despite the level of standard because everyone is important in other people's life. Don't think that you are the only one who is facing challenges. People are facing challenges in different ways, but they've tried to cover up and stay and stay happy. Another thing is that the person you are mistreating today might be the person who will be there for you. Like Mr. William, that Adobe was the only person who could stay with him and make him happy until his last breath. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you enjoyed these reviews and if you enjoyed the lessons learned in this movie. You can tell me if any of you in the comment section what you think about this movie. It's called Last Breath at Uchen Nabunabo TV. Go and watch the movie. I love you. God bless you. Bye. Bye.